Also today, in an effort to come a, become a little more transparent, the Department of Health is going to start releasing a list of nursing homes that have been impacted by COVID-19. And Casey Freeman joins us now with this new initiative. What are you finding out, Casey? Well, Adam, it's been an unsettling time for families, especially those who have loved ones of the at risk population. Now, right now, 94 people have died from COVID-19 statewide. Now get this, almost half of those are from people over the age of 71. Now we know 11 of those who have died of coronavirus were residents of the Gallatin Center for Rehabilitation and Healing. In all, more than 100 residents and staff tested positive there. The state has required all long term care facilities with two or more COVID-19 cases to report them. Now that information will be made available to you for you to see as well. Starting later today, the state health commissioner wants everyone to have some perspective during this time. I do want to remind you this does not necessarily um, infer any type of wrongdoing. Uh, this is just um, facilities that have had positive cases. As I've said sometimes, even the best laid plans and uh, the best practices still can't prevent all cases from coming in. You'll be able to find a list to that link a link to that list on newschannel5.com later on today. For now live at the State Health Department, I'm Casey Freeman, News Channel 5.